கார்விங் ஆஃப் பர்மனன்ட் மேண்டிபுலார் ஃபஸ்ட் ப்ரீமோலார் ஆர்மமெண்டேரியம் ரெக்யார்ட் வேக்ஸ் பிளாக் லெக்ரான் கார்வர் ஸ்டீல் ஸ்கேல் க்ரீன் கிளாத் பாலிஷிங் கிளாத் மெக்கண்டா ஷீட் Mark the central line on all four surfaces of the wax block. Join those lines on upper and lower surfaces of the wax block. Divide the wax block into 3 parts, 8.5 mm for crown, 17 mm for root and rest for base. Draw horizontal line dividing crown, root and base. Similarly on all the 4 sides. one side as buckle and the side opposite to buckle is marked as lingual and other two sides are marked as mesial and distal divide the crown into three equal parts incisal middle and cervical similarly on all sides lingual aspect draw two oblique lines from midline to incisal third and from incisal third to cervical line like this on mesial buccal aspect draw one oblique lines from midline to cervical third like this similarly on distal aspect so the mesial and distal shape of the crown resembles a rhomboidal in shape carve the wax outside the marking in through and through manner like this from mesial to distal aspect like this similarly on all sides on mesial buccal aspect draw a line like this from middle to cervical third and also on the distal buccal aspect like this carve the xx wax outside the marking and also on the distal aspect obtaining a cervical contour on buccal surfaces like this using polishing cloth polish the buccal and lingual aspect
on buckle aspect draw a pentagon shape from midline to incisor third and from incisor third to cervical third like this similarly draw a pentagon shape on lingual aspect also outside the marking in through and through manner from buccal to lingual aspect like this using polishing cloth polishes the surfaces like this on buckle aspect draw a midline like this as a prominent buccal ridge to obtain a prominent buccal ridge on the convexity of the buccal aspect carve a wax like this towards the occlusal third and also on the cervical aspect like this follow the same instruction on the lingual aspect also polish the surfaces using polishing cloth on buccal and lingual aspect on occlusal aspect draw a oblique line towards lingual and also on other side for obtaining a lingual convergence like this carve the wax outside the marking mark a central groove as a v shape notch on the occlusal aspect like this and also mark a midline from buccal cusp to lingual cusp on buccal cusp carve a buccal slope like this from up and down without damaging marginal ridge similarly on other side without damaging marginal ridge follow the same instruction on the lingual cusp also now deepen the central groove like this and polish the occlusal surfaces occlusal surfaces are finished now smooth the sharp edges on all four sides now polish with polishing cloth the occlusal surfaces of the 
crown is completed shape of the root is conical to carve the root mark the outline on buccal and lingual surface reduce the excess wax outside the marking draw midline on carved portion of mesial and distal side now mark the outline of the root reduce the wax outside the marking polish the surfaces of the root using polishing cloth mark cervical line on all four sides mark developmental groove on mesiolingual aspect from occlusal to mesiolingual surface